rapping like the winner do. Do see me with the crew? I done get some food. I see you looking like your dude. Had to make a move, make. Hey family, don't forget to hit the bell, subscribe, join me on my mission to gain 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. I appreciate that. Also, if you want to make a video topic request, or if you just want to let me know you rock with me, send a donation to the Cash App or one of these other places, you feel me? Much appreciated. And follow me on social media too, especially Instagram. Peace y'all, State Almighty, aka the Global Dark Skin Ambassador, with another installment of legendary places in the bronx okay my last legendary place in the bronx was the 44 precinct for reasons that i don't like them for which is how corrupt they are the one before that was about concourse plaza now keeping in that area i now want to talk to y'all about concourse village and if you from around my way it's called the ville okay the ville is the hood, the block, whatever you want to call it, with the most down to girls in one concentrated area, okay? So let me paint the picture in your mind, okay? Like Concourse Village is like its own like world within like the hood, okay? So this is like a series of four or five tall ass buildings, right? All of these buildings have up to like 25 floors, right? Now, and for, and, and, and for some reason, they just had the most desires, like just, just the most, just the most, like it was a known thing amongst the fellas in my area that when you want to pick up chicks, especially in them early years, you go to the Ville, you walk through the Ville, okay? Summertime in Concourse Village growing up, super, super lit. Like, mind you, I told you, this is five buildings, over 20 floors, okay? So, if you outside, let's say, I'm gonna put a picture like this. Summertime, nighttime, right? You, five of your dudes, you begin to walk through the Ville. You walking through the Ville, you seeing mad girls. Like at any random time, you seeing 10, 20 girls outside and, and, and majority of them are going, like going. And when I say going, they taking you down and your mans and all of that, you know what I'm saying? Like mad of them, you know what I'm saying? Like, like couple dudes is walking behind buildings, getting the neck. Dudes is taking chicks and buildings that are not there so their parents don't catch them, but still within the Ville, right? Taking them in the staircase, getting wild with them, you know what I'm saying? Like, like dudes running trains, like, like this was a very, very lit, 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 lit spot. Like, I learned to work on my game and, and, and I learned like just dealing with chicks, you feel me? Like, examples of how lit the Ville was, okay? I got a lot of different examples. I got a story earlier earlier on on my channel where I talk about my very first threesome when I came home from prison. I, I was talking to a girl from the Ville. I told her to come see me, right? And she came to see me with another girl that I did not ask for. I was chosen because, yeah, I'm that nigga, but you know, we ain't, we ain't come, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? When I was 20 years old, right? I ended up knocking them both down. Both these chicks was from the Ville. Now, this is the situation. Those two girls that I smashed, both of those girls I smashed on the regular, you know what I'm saying? At random times, random intervals throughout the years from that point all the way up until I left New York. And the times where I wasn't hitting, they happened to be pregnant with their kid by somebody else, of course, or they happened to have a man at the time. But both of those girls, in that situation had brought other girls, like not necessarily threesomes, but brought other girls around from the Ville that I ended up smashing, you know what I'm saying? Like, like it's like Concourse Village with chicks is like the gifts that keeps on giving, okay? Now, there's another situation I have where it was me, me and um 
my boy Robbie, you know what I'm saying? Dobby. Now, this situation where I had a chick from the Ville come see me, right? She came with her sister, right? My mom's is gone. So the chick comes to see me, I take her in my room, I clap it, crazy, right? Whole time, her sister is in the living room, right? So, in the process of that, my boy Robbie comes to the house. I'm like, yo, Ville things is in here, right? So, he goes in my room, yes, I'm the dude who I, I was allowing my boys to smash chicks on my bed. My only thing was this. Do not bust on my sheets, right? Do not bust on my sheets. Don't leave no condoms in my room. Clean up after yourself, right? Me personally, I feel like I just changed my sheets for breeze the bed and I'm good. You know what I'm saying? Like, gotta let the homie have his fun. You know what I'm saying? Like, feel me, right? I've let like four or five of my friends over the years like smash chicks on my bed. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's the gift that keeps on giving. Like, we brothers, you feel me? You're not gonna let your brother smash. But anyways, so mind you, I told you I had the other, I mean, the chick, like her sister was in the living room while I was smashing her sister, right? So Robbie comes to the house. Robbie goes inside my room. He's smashing the chick. While he's smashing the chick, I'm in the living room talking to the other sister. I'm like, yeah, you hear them. That turn you on, right? She like a little bit. I'm like, come here, right? So I immediately start doing my thing. Next thing you know, I'm clapping it on my mother's couch in the house, right? Facts, like clapping it. That's another situation, you know what I'm saying? Um, um, I've definitely had like two, three little situations where I'm talking to a girl in the Ville in the staircase. I got the neck. Um, or I smash in the staircase, you know, that's standard, that's like, but then there's another situation, a whole nother girl from the Ville, right? Me and her, me and her, um, we had our little thing where, where we would like to meet up at, um, Yankee Stadium Park. Now, I don't know, I don't remember what led us over there the first time, but, we talking, we dealing with each other in Yankee Stadium Park, and I end up smashing in the basketball court real, real late at night. Nobody else over there. Outside, just chilling it. Like, like she on her knees on the concrete, giving me the neck, you know what I'm saying? I'm killing it, like picking her up, like doing like, like, like doing the vein range from baby boy, like wilding, like wilding, like. Well, and and I remember like in the span of one summer, we probably did that like like ten times. You know what I'm saying? Um, Concourse Village was very, 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 very lit. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, that class of females. You know what I'm saying? That that uh graduating class, that era of women. Um, a lot of those women may have moved. They had kids. You know what I'm saying? Some of them probably still lived there, but that was just so lit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I recommend. I recommend, fellas, if you run into a girl, she says she's from Concourse Village, she's going. She's going. She's going to smash. Go for it. Like, all in all, I literally smashed, like, 10, 15 chicks from Neville and probably got the head and didn't smash by, like, three, four more of them, you know what I'm saying? Concourse Village in the Bronx. Used to love Concourse Village, man. Shout out the Ville. Shout out, shout out um the real niggas I know from the Ville too. A lot of solid dudes from the Ville too, man. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Peace.